the Igbo should start relocating their businesses back to southeast to avoid complication, Ohanes and Digo says. Mm -hmm. So the call now is getting very frequent for the Igbos to leave Lagos. Yes. They say develop Igbo land before they come back. How will Igbo land be developed if they don't come back? Let them come back. As they're coming back, the development will start and will continue. And I tell you that Nigerians will still go to that Igbo land to go and buy. They don't have option. That is the truth. The prominent figure of the Hanes and Igbo appears to Chukotura organization, Okechuku Izuguzuru, has called on the Igbos who are into business in Lagos to start relocating their businesses back to the southeast to avoid future demolition. Hmm. So the statement arose as the arose as the shifting in the group saw a disturbing video circulating online of helpless Igbo traders at the Trinity Spare Parts Market in Apapa, Lagos, lamenting over their inability to recover their goods and products after the demolition. So according to the chieftain, he expressed his displeasure over the demolition taken by the Lagos or done by the Lagos state government, which had destroyed their businesses without being compensated. So the Secretary General of the Hanese Indigbo has urged President Bola Tinubu and the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu to immediately intervene to protect the rights and interests of the Igbos regardless of their ethnicity. So according to a reliable news source from Daily Post, Isiguzoro said, the relentless targeting of Igbo traders and their businesses under the guise of development is unacceptable. So Haneze Indigo implores Igbo traders to relocate the headquarters of their businesses to Igbo land to avoid further complications arising from future market demolition. We fervently urge President Tinubu and the Governor of Lagos State to demonstrate true leadership by intervening decisively to protect the rights and interests of all citizens regardless of their ethnicity. Okay. So what is happening now is that the issue in Lagos is getting out of hand. Demolition, targeted demolition. They went to Alaba International Market. It was basically the Igbo traders that they demolished are saying that the buildings are cracking and they don't want anybody to die. Okay. They went to uh, Ladepo Spare Pass Market and demolished their shop saying that uh, they refused, they locked it and they pursued them saying that they refuse to pay for environmental uh, waste, saying that the waste there is too much. They will always create one government thing or the other, and the area they will go is Igbo-dominated area. Now, they have gone to this market again in Lagos to go now and start demolishing properties. But go to places like uh, Butemeta, where houses are already demolishing into the lagoon, or so already collapsed into the lagoon. It, where lagoon is their toilet, they will not go to such places. Okay? They will not go to anywhere. They went to Magodo to do nonsense because they know that most of the houses there are owned by non Lagosians or non Yorubas. So this is a very targeted uh, thing that they are doing. Now, all their Ajagumbales have entered town now to start collecting land from foreigners as. Uh, you know, as for moneyless, okay, collecting land from people who have bought their who have bought their land since long ago. Uh, the same way they have gone to somewhere in Apapatu and they are also uh, pursuing egos up and down. So why in Lagos? That is the question. Because this thing is not happening in all your state, Ugo State, Ekiti State, Ushun State, and Ugo, and other states in in the southwest. Why is this only really happening in Lagos? That is to tell you that it's not all Yoruba, it is Tinubu and Somolu, the APC Yoruba that are the people causing this problem in Lagos. That is the truth. And what is so special about Lagos? And that is why you cannot exonerate Tinubu from this problem. They know what they are doing. They know exactly what they are doing. And the only time we tell, it is just a matter of time. Okay, people are already writing several comments here. Somebody said, please, Igbo should not only uh, leave Lagos, but the whole of South, South, Southwest and North. We are tired of them. We are ready to occupy the buying and selling businesses they have been doing without human mind. Can you imagine? 
this one is talking now the one you wanted to leave south west south 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 and uh, and where eh? and the north so that you can take over their business they will go with their business now there's nothing you can do about it if they are living they will live with their business and see if you'll be able to do their business you know people are the biggest fools on earth Igbos come to Lagos for business. They develop Lagos and make it what it is today. Yoruba see them as their problem that they should go. But the Fulani will come, destroy your farms, rape and kill your women, kidnap your people for ransom, kill your traditional rulers. But you never see them as your problem. You will remain grasses for their cow. Okay? Your foolishness is, a, is eternal. Now it's more to know. Somebody said this is good news. Let them go, I mean, they will go and let's see whether you'll be able to run your that area of the country alone. Spelling correction or Hanaize, not or Hanaize. Okay, demolition, not demolition. <laughs> this is this on the Mark English for inside. We saw that anyway. When Mazenam de Kano was saying it years back, now the same useless or Hanaize, Ndigbo said he's a madman, nonsense people. That is the thing. That is the thing. What the man has seen, in fact, the only offense Nam the Kano committed is that he saw it ahead and was saying it loudly. So they feel he talks too much. That is it. Very important too. That is why I love the houses so much. All their businesses are in the north. If you want anything, go there, buy and ship it to your region. Abi, they say Igbos are wise. I doubt that. Go to Lagos, Abuja and Kano. You will see what Igbos are doing there. Massive projects and infrastructures. Igbos wise up. Now that, that is it. Igbos should wise up. These people like to make Shakara eh, Uloji on social media, sha. When the Igbos that went home for Christmas were coming back to Lagos, majority of them brought their fathers, mothers, siblings, and even animals back to Lagos. So this year, year ranting, from this man is of no effect okay that is what you think that is what you think it is all about hatred born out of election though the so-called president wife being talked she let them go chase Igbo out of Lagos for not voting her husband same with the governor so the Igbos and other tribe should shine their eyes man die only once hmm okay so that is that comment and somebody said we are not one he was should start coming back home a butterfly cannot be bad no matter how big exactly okay is is speaking his own mind not from Hanese. the ordinary Igbo man has wisdom and knows his footsteps that's what you think that's what you think. The pro trouble is just getting too much. Many Igbo can survive in their state. If you must know that, if you see they should relocate, many will go poor in few years. Some will continue with their ritualism. Can you imagine? So you are you say say they can't survive in their state. Is that what you're trying to say? That is what you think. I don't think that is what it is anyway. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. Oh, Hannes and Igbo recalling the Igbos back to Southeast. With the Igbos here, that is something we need to know. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comments.